Hey everyone, it's Inspector Talon, and today I have some exciting new tech to show you all. So let's jump right into it. So previously, Ilmengo showed an instant minecart unloader using the new cart eating mechanic introduced in 119. Uh, it works by aligning the cart such that the content items spawn on the rail, and then the minecart item itself will go into the hopper where it's then redispensed so that it can loop back into the farm to collect more items. So I can quickly demonstrate. Whoop. There we go. Now, not too long afterwards, C5 used that same concept and improved it by creating this version. So it works by accusing the dispenser off the detector rail. And this has an important advantage over Ilmengo's design because it's not hard powering the dropper and or dispenser. Um, because that can cause problems with tileability as well as locking the hopper. And so um, we will discuss the issues that can cause later on. So recently, I took C5's design and further improved it using waterlogged cart stone. So I'm using the single source of flowing water to dispense the cart directly on a slope and then push the cart up instead of it going backwards into the cauldron. So I can show this as well. Now, my new design has a couple advantages over C5s, specifically it is faster if you align the slope rails. However, it is slightly slower by about one to two game ticks whenever the cauldrons are aligned. So I can show the discrepancy here. You can see that the new design reaches just slightly after C5s. However, if I align the sloped rails together, which is a better metric because this indicates where the end of the farm would be, the new design comes back faster. Mango's design uh, dispenses the cart much faster. However, as I stated before, it can have some other issues that stem from the way the wiring works. So moving forward to some practical applications of this, we have a tiled up system that will dispense all the carts and then also lock the hoppers whenever it, the system is idle. So if I flick the lever. Now one very important thing to note about this is that in two directions, there is a rotation bug for the minecarts, and that makes it where they will collide with each other and affect the alignment a little bit. Um, I ran this for about 11 hours and didn't have any issues with losing carts. However, whenever you're designing a system that uses minecarts all stacked together in a rail like this, it's important to note that you need to test it per system, not um, the way that this particular one works because it can cause different issues depending on the initial factors. So I can show the system cutting off real quick. It won't dispense the carts and then all the hoppers are locked while idle. Uh, this is somewhat unnecessary considering it's unlikely that you'll have the farm loaded when it's not operating, 
but it's good to have just for display purposes, if nothing else. So let's get into some troubleshooting with the cart eater. Um, I will discuss some common issues that people have. So the first one uh, of two, well, I suppose three, but two major ones for vanilla are making sure that you don't send a minecart faster than eight game ticks. Sending carts faster than eight game ticks can overwhelm this hopper transferring into the barrel, and that will affect how how reliable the system is for collecting the carts. Now, additionally, as stated with Il Mango's um, instant cart unloader, it's also important to make sure that the hopper is not locked at any point because locking the hopper can make it where the minecart item is spawned in the cauldron for a short amount of time and that can cause it to either bounce out or bounce into the lava and you will lose carts over time. Now the third thing to note is if you are on or using spigot or paper for the server. Um, I spoke with the paper devs. There are configurations that alter the behavior for the new minecart eating mechanic. And these configurations, as far as I'm aware from the last time I spoke with the devs, cannot be altered. It is just a feature of paper. And so if that is the case, it is essentially unavoidable and you just have to test for yourself if it does or does not work. Um, with that being said, that's all I have for you guys. Um, make sure to like and subscribe. I will link C5 and Mango's videos for their designs in the description. And thank you.